Hey, what's up? I'm Kristen Apple and welcome to my huge beauty haul. I'm so excited. This is my biggest beauty haul ever because I just have, it's a collective haul. I just have a bunch of things since my last haul and I'm really excited to show you guys. Basically, it's just a bunch of new products as well as just reviewing some products that I've been using over the last few weeks and been loving and also some of my favorite items. So let's get started. Also, just a quick note, if you like these two shirts that I'm wearing, this pink tank top and this blouse, or this bracelet, be sure to check out my Abercrombie Kids haul. Starting with makeup items, the first item I got is a powder. I go through a lot of powder. In fact, this isn't the first powder I bought since my last beauty haul. This is actually the third. Um, this is Revlon Photo Ready in Translucent. <laughs> I can't say the word. Translucent. There we go. Okay. In Translucent. And I've just been really loving translucent powder lately. I think I saw on Beauty by Sienna's channel. I think that's where I first saw someone using translucent and it just, it's actually what I have on right now. And I think it just looks so natural and so beautiful. And yeah, that's what it looks like. And it comes with a brush, but as you can see, I haven't used the brush yet, but um, the powder has been amazing. I love it. I'll probably get it again. Um, even though I love trying new products, this is one product that I will probably buy again and again because it's been so great. These are the other two powders that I've used since my last beauty haul, because like I said, I've actually gone through several powders. Um, one is just CoverGirl, and it's called Smoothers, and it's in Translucent. And the other one is this Revlon Color Stay, and I think this is actually the one that I saw on Beauty by Sienna's channel. And now I'm on to my third powder for this month. I wear powder every day, and... Well, pretty much every day. I like to put on BB cream and powder to protect my skin from the sun, especially now that it's sunny and it's summer. And so I use a lot of powder and I usually do reapply it at some point during the day. So yeah, I go through a lot of translucent powder. If you're wondering about the powder for my last beauty haul, because I don't think I'd reviewed it yet, um, or maybe I did, I loved it at first because it came out really easy onto the brush and it covered my face. But after like two or three days of wearing it, I realized it's the wrong color for my skin. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's way too dark for my skin. I If I had a tan, I could wear it. But for like three days I wore this and no one said anything. Well, actually I think one person said something like, oh, you're wearing a lot of makeup today. <laughs> and that's when I went and looked in the mirror and was like, that's not the right color. And now I'm really happy with translucent powders because translucent's always the right shade. And before I put on my powder, I always put on BB cream. Like I said, I love that it has, this is SPF 30. I just love that sun protection. That's a big deal for me. This is Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. And I've actually come to really love this. Um, is I get the light sheer tint. As you can see, I have really light skin. And I love it so much that somehow I ended up with three. I, like, I usually have one extra because I'm terrified of running out. Like, that's one of my greatest fears. I don't know, I was traveling recently. And I was so worried that I would run out while I was traveling. And so I got so worried, I guess I accidentally bought two backup ones. But that's how much I love this BB cream. Like, try it. It covers great. It feels so light on your skin. Really, that's the main thing for me. I just like something that's really light and natural. And if you're wondering what BB cream I was using before I got that one, it's this Olay Fresh Effects BB cream. And I'm not 100% sure. I can't really review this item yet because... I haven't decided yet if I love it or if it's a little too dark for my skin because as you can see this is definitely a lighter color. Um, although this one says fair to light but um, I don't know I'm just going to try them both. I haven't tried this one with my new powder yet so I'll probably try it with this and then decide for sure do I love it or hate it. Next moving on to blush I got Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. Um, and this is my first cream blush, so I was really, like, excited slash nervous to try it. I got it in Candy Coral. I'm wearing it right now, but I didn't put very much on, so I'm not sure if it's, um, if it shows up on the camera or not. But I really like this coral color. I just thought with, like, summer, the orangey tones in it just make it such a, like, warmer color for summer. So, I mean, I don't really like tan, obviously. You can see I'm red hair with pale skin, but, um, I do like to have a little color in my cheeks. And so the blush I was using before this is this Physician's Formula, which I love. I really like it. I just, um, the pink seemed more like a spring color and then the coral seemed more like a summer color. But I'll probably rotate back and forth and still use this one because I've been really happy with this one too. Next, moving up to my eyes, I got a couple new eye products. And the first one is Neutrogena Eyeshadow and it says it's crease proof. So I'm kind of excited to try that. I've never seen anything like this, but um, the cream shadow that I have been using is this Color Tattoo Inked in Pink. And I love it, 
but it gets messy because in order to use it, I have to stick my finger in there and then just put it on my eye with my finger. I mean, I guess I could use a brush, but so many days, like, I'm in a hurry or I'm in the car, like, at the last minute, like, trying to put on some makeup. So I usually end up using my finger, and then it's all over my hand. I went ahead and opened the cream shadow for you guys. Um, this is Perfect Pink by Neutrogena. I just wanted you to be able to see that color. I think, like, because I have really light skin, I feel like that's going to be a really pretty color. So, yes, I'm very excited to try this tomorrow. So after I put on my cream shadow, I always, of course, then put on a powdery shadow. If I'm at home, I use my Naked 2 palette, so this is one of my favorites. Um, I got this for Christmas. It was such a great Christmas gift, and I think you guys have all seen the colors. They're all kind of like darker, natural colors. But with, with it being spring and summer, I wanted something like lighter and brighter, and I saw this... Um, it's called Physician's Formula Nude Eyes, and it had some pretty light colors in it. This is what it looks like outside the box. It's a lot easier to see it. Um, there's all the pretty colors and I just thought they looked really good. They're like a lot of lighter colors and they have a little bit of shimmer in them. A lot of them are kind of similar to the Naked palette colors but that's okay because I wanted like a little travel size version. So like on days that I get up early enough to do my makeup at home in my bathroom I always use this but for days when I'm running late and I just take um, I have this little this is my little travel Clinique bag. I throw this in my backpack if I don't have time to get ready at home. I just throw this in my backpack and then I do my makeup in the car. So I wanted a little travel eyeshadow because obviously like this doesn't fit in my little bag. The next item I've got and have been using this month is Maybelline Rocket Volume. And this is a product that I've used in the past and loved in the past. Um, in my previous beauty haul, you saw I got this Physician's Formula Organic Mascara, and that was a new item that I never tried before. So basically my quick review of that is that it's very gentle on my eyes, it's really easy to remove, but um, I don't think it looks as good as some of the other mascaras I've tried. Like this um, Maybelline Rocky Volume I think definitely looks better on my eyes. So while it was nice having organic and all, um, it, just, it wasn't very easy to put on and probably won't get it again. So, I went with Maybelline. Once this ran out, I got Maybelline Rocket Volume, and I've been really happy. So, I'm wearing on my eyes right now, and I just think it's so much, like, there's so much more volume. My eyelashes just look incredible when I put this on, because I, I have really light eyelashes, obviously. And so, um, I just think it's amazing. Like, when I put this on, you can actually see my lashes, so I'm very happy with this. So the next item I got is by one of my favorite brands. It's by Baby Skin. Um, they also make my baby lips that I wear every day. And I'm sure you've seen baby lips in a lot of my hauls because I'm always buying baby lips. And so when I saw that they had a face product, I was really excited and interested to try it. Um, it's made by Maybelline, and this is called Instant Pore Eraser. And you guys can't see um, because it doesn't show up on camera, but I do have pores just like everyone else, and I would love to erase them just like everyone else. So I'm so excited to try this product. I've been seeing it in all the magazines. Everyone's posting photos of it on Instagram and giving it away in their hauls. And I, yeah, I just had to try it. And so in my next beauty video, you'll be hearing my review of this, and I'm, I'm just so excited. The next item I got is another travel makeup brush. This one is for blush. Um, in my previous haul, I'd gotten this thinking I could use it for blush and powder, but it turns out it works really great for powder and not so great for blush. So I'll continue using this one for powder, and I'll be using this one for my blush. I'll be throwing this in my travel bag. Um, it says it's by Sonia something. Yeah, I don't know. I just grabbed the only travel <laughs> blush brush I saw, but... Yeah, so now I'll be carrying both of these with me in my little overflowing pink travel bag. And the next item I got is an eye makeup remover. This is by Alme, and it says Gentle Eye Makeup Remover Pads. This is a product I've used in the past. Um, I had the Alme Soothing and Depuffing ones, and this time I decided to get the Gentle ones um, because my eyes do tend to get a little bit irritated, so if your eyes are a little bit sensitive, Maybe try these. I haven't tried them yet, um, but my review on these has been awesome. Um, it just takes one pad to remove all of my left and then one for my right. So I use two of these at the end of the day, and it just takes all my makeup off, and then I'm good to go. And so that's why I wanted to get these again. It's just so much easier because like, it already has the pads in there. I find that easier than the ones where like you get a bottle and you have to like put it on a cotton ball or a piece of paper or something and like wipe it yourself. So yeah, these are really great if you're lazy and you're like, I'm always in a hurry at the end of the day. So if you don't have a lot of time, I would definitely recommend these. Next, I got a couple nail products. The first one is a bottle of Essie nail polish in the color Blanc. It's just a white 
and I wore this a lot over the past few weeks. I think it's a great color for spring and for summer, so I'll probably continue to wear it a bunch. Um, and if you'd like to see pictures of me wearing this, I think there's pictures on my Instagram, which is at KristenApple24. And the other nail products I got is just some nail polish remover because I was totally out. <laughs> So oh, this is one of my favorite items for the month or for the last few weeks. It's by Scrunchie and these are the No Damage Hair Ties and I absolutely love all the fun colors. Pretty much every day I just grab any random color. As you can see I've already opened it and been using these. And if you look on my Instagram you can see like on my wrist in like pretty much every picture I probably have one of these on my wrist. And yeah they're great. They're um, really gentle on my hair and they're just fun colors so I'm totally in love with them. And this is the next hair product I got. Um, what I don't know what you call these hair clips? Bobby pins? Is that what they're called? What do you call these? Comment down below on what you call these because I feel like everyone calls them something different. But um, I just wanted some hair accessories that were a little bit um, fancier. Next I got some hair clips for summer. I thought these were really fun colors and they're also glittery. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see they're like shiny, glittery. And yeah, I just thought they would go with a lot and be really easy. Um, my hair is always like, this part's always falling in my face. So I love doing like a little braid or a little clip. I think you guys have noticed I do that a lot. Just like getting it out of my face, especially if I'm at school. Because then, I guess, I mean, with it being summer, that's kind of irrelevant. But when I do have school, you know, whenever I lean forward like to look at my desk, my hair falls all in my face and it's like a constant battle. So hair clips. I'm very excited about these. Next, I treated myself, well... This I treated myself to, and this was from my sister. Let's open these up and see what's inside. So this body wash is from my sister, and it's Kiehl's is the brand, and it says Aromic Blends, Orange Flower, and how do you pronounce that word? Lychee? I'm not going to say it again because I might be getting it really wrong and I might embarrass myself, but Orange Flower, it smells really good, and I haven't used it yet because, oh, I have to take the thing off. That does smell really good. And if you're wondering why I just said it smelled good before I opened it, um, there were all these like little samples. So I have sampled it. I just haven't opened the bottle until now. Ugh, but I will be using this as soon as I use up. Um, if you guys saw my Bath and Body Works haul, you saw I got a bunch of Bath and Body Works body wash. So um, I have to use all that up before I can start this. But I have a lot of body wash. Um, it says skin softening body cleanser and it's sulfate free. So thank you sister. I'm really excited to use this. I think my whole room smells like coffee now. <laughs> okay, so if you're wondering what is in here, um, if you've looked on Instagram, I think it's at the grind effect. That's like the official Instagram for this product. Um, my friend Jennifer told me about it and I'm so excited that she did. So I ordered some online and I'm just trying it. I've never tried it before, but I guess it's like coffee body scrub. I mean it smells exactly like coffee. It smells really good and it'll probably be really exfoliating. I don't really know anything about it though. Like I think it's new or at least it's new to me. But like I said my friend Jennifer told me about it and I'm really excited so you should definitely go check out at the grind effect on Instagram or there's their website. So yeah go check it out. Order one. Try it. See for yourself. I am really excited to try this. This item is really random, but it's just a small travel sunscreen. With it being summer, I wear a ton of sunscreen, and so I wanted a little travel one that I can just throw in my bag. Um, like I have like a big one I keep in the car, but um, yeah, I thought this was really cute and really perfect when I saw it. Next food item I got is Hubert's Lemonade. The first one I got was the Raspberry Lemonade. And I also got Cherry Limeade. I really like the little guy's face on this one. I also got strawberry lemonade, which I'm actually drinking right now. Mm. That's really good. You should definitely go get some if you haven't tried some yet, especially since it's summer. It's just the perfect summer drink, and it's definitely on my favorites list. I've been reading PB Teen a lot because, as I mentioned, I'm kind of redoing my room and bathroom. And if you're wondering where I got this adorable pillow next to me, it's from PB Teen. And you can check it out in my PB Teen haul. So be sure to give this a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more beauty hauls. Thank you for sticking with me through this huge haul, and I will see you next time.